Hey y'all, picked this up at a ham fest today in Rochester. Um, the guy said it was working. I think he's mostly right. Um, I did notice some weirdness with the beam finder button. If you if you press it, it kind of got stuck and that was throwing me off a bit here earlier. Um, if you get it just right, you can get it to kick out of beam finder mode. But it's not easy. There we go. So, um, I see that. That's one problem. And another problem, the uh, focus knob is really tight. Um, I had that happen on a 466 before, and it's just a matter of getting in there and cleaning it. Um, but that, on the 466 at least, was on a pretty long extension rod down inside a uh, shielded area. So I'm going to go ahead and get the cover off of this and see uh, if I can fix these two problems easily. Alright, got the cover off. And yeah, the focus is on an extension here down in this high voltage area. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get some deoxid F5 down in there. And... Um, also hit this switch here for the beam finder with some deoxid D5 and see if that helps. All right, so on this focus pot, it's not easy to get to from the top really, but you can sneak the nozzle in from the side here and uh, basically just spray around the shaft and uh, keep, try to spray it a few times and then work it back and forth and it'll slowly loosen up. It's a lot freer now than it was a minute ago. There we go, now it's like back to feeling like new. Cool. All right, and for the beam finder switch here, I'm gonna try getting some in from the top here. Looks like it's making it in there, and then actuate that a couple dozen times. And we will see what we get here in a few minutes. All right, going back together. I've got some nice new 3D printed feet to put on it and uh, if you're wondering to take it apart you take the two screws out of this side out of the feet and then the two on this side and then there's a screw in top and bottom you'll remove as well so I'm uh, just doing that in reverse now and let's see how she goes all right well that's all it took the beam finder now works correctly and turn the scope seems to be working quite a bit better and uh, the focus knob is nice and free and works as you would expect now I can actually go through and test out the rest of this thing Thanks for watching.